Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe. Welcome back to everyone. Good to see you guys. Um, yeah, personal reading link is in the description box below the video. <coughs> All right, let's get into your reading. So you're starting off with spy. Someone got, someone got, <laughs> someone's got their eye on you. You are doing your research. Okay. So either you're spying on someone or someone is spying on you. Okay. Or someone is spying on you and researching you. Let's see what's going on here. Hmm. What's going on here? Okay. Who are you spending Christmas with, Virgo? I'm not asking you. That's what they're looking to see. Are you going to be with your family? Are you going to be with their family? <laughs> what does this mean? Oh my goodness. Someone is spying. Are you spending Christmas together with someone? Oh my goodness. Knight of Pentacles. What? What is... Hold on. <coughs> is it another Earth sign spying on you? What is going on, Virgo? Oh my gosh. Okay. I know I'm, I'm not usually like not saying anything but I feel like somebody here is wondering who you're with for the holidays if you're celebrating the holidays yeah they're spying they're looking to see um, they're curious if, if you're with someone that's just what I feel like is going on if you're so this could this could be a gazillion different things they're not giving me any specifics but there is someone who's looking to see if you're traveling or if you're spending time with someone else. It's a someone else. Okay. Now it could be somebody's ex. Okay. It could be the person that you're connected to their ex. It could be your own ex. We'll see. But yeah, I'm hearing is someone giving Virgo a gift? Is my person is like, okay, I feel like they're okay. This is where it's going. There must be someone who I'm seeing a third, I'm seeing a three party kind of thing is what they're showing me. So it's like there is a person who is either interested in you or you're already talking to, or you're already dating and they have somebody else who's spying to see, spying on them to see if there's, or it's you, it could be you to see if something's going on. Okay. That's what I'm getting. And this is someone who is kind of harsh. It could be an air sign. All right. So I know, I hope this doesn't sound confusing, but you're definitely, you and another person are being spied on. Okay. Could maybe it's your ex. Okay. So let's see. What else does we're going to need to know here? This is crazy. It, it, I just want you to take it very general. I'm trying to give a specific, but there, it's just coming in. There's just another person who's watching to see the overall who you are, if you're going to be with someone else in a love kind of thing, okay? Watching you, checking you out. There's a queen of wands here, so it could be a fire sign. So that's the first court card, Leo Sagittarius Aries. Okay. So fire sign could be watching... Or you could have a connection with a fire sign and there are persons watching. Yeah, it sounds a little sounds a little curious, but you could be doing the same in reverse to see if someone that you're connected to. It's all about this holiday thing. Yeah, it, 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 I feel like it all has to do with Christmas. If you're going to someone's, are you going to be meeting someone's family or you're going to be celebrating Christmas or inviting someone that you have a connection with over the holiday? Yes. Okay. Ooh, we've got the emperor here. And the ten. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I do not know who this person is to you, but they are watching. They are definitely watching. Something must have ended. I feel like something has ended or they're hoping to spy and see that you and another person are not going to be together during the holiday. But why? Because I feel like they want to reach out to you or they want to talk to you. 
that's Cupid's arrows, the eight of wands. There's something here about they want to talk to you. They're looking to see if anybody else is in the picture, if anybody else is like something else is going on. You know, if, are you going to be sitting on Santa's lap? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what are you doing? Who are you talking to? Or Mrs. Claus's lap, whichever. There's a little bit of jealousy, I feel like there's going on here. A sense of betrayal. All right. That's exciting. Merry freaking Christmas. Merry freaking Christmas. All right, what else? Yeah. Somebody thinks that there's some deceptive, that there's some lies or de there's some deception going on. No, Virgo, I don't know. Is there? I don't know your story. I don't know what's, what your situation. Could be a Pisces. Could be an Aries. Yeah. Look at that. Fantasy. Non-committal. Somebody is trying to find out. They think something's going on. Maybe there is. Who knows? Um, but they think something's going on and they're trying. They can't see clearly. They can't get the answer. They're like having a hard time getting the facts and the evidence. You know, that, that Seven of Cups really gives me this vibe of like, or did I say Seven of Wands and Eight of Wands? They're really having this vibe of like, I, you know, everything's cloudy. I can't see. I'm not sure. Uh, somebody is like, tr they're like trying to go by their gut. They're spying intuitively or through their gut. They think that, uh, or they're, they're trying to find out if you're with somebody else for the holidays. Okay. Yeah. There's a bit of jealousy and control. Yeah. Who are you giving your time to Virgo? Okay. So you do have the queen of cups here, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So like I said, as far as court cards, we are getting two feminine uh, fire and water. So it, it could be one or the other. Ten of Cups. Yeah. Are you happy? Somebody wants to, they're trying to find out if you're happy. Yeah, because who want to reach out and, and, you know, talk to you over the holidays. Maybe something has ended and you're with somebody else. Why do they want to talk to Virgo? I just saw the Three of Swords, so if that pops back out again, why do they want to talk to Virgo? Oh, they don't think something's over. They're wait. They've been waiting. They're not sure if something's over. Are they? They're still waiting for for something, some communication, which is what the Three represents. They're still waiting. Oops, to talk to you or to hear from you. Somebody's waiting for you. Yep. They're waiting for reconciliation with you. Okay. All right. <laughs> they don't, there's somebody here who does not believe or they don't think something has ended. Yeah. They don't think something has ended. There's Scorpio energy there. Virgo, what is going on? Why do they think this? Why, why do they think that something has not ended with Virgo. Oh. Well, they have like a very, like they're very smitten with you. Or maybe you still chat with them or, or something. They, they're under the impression that um, they have, they're very smitten though. They have like a little crush or something. They just, maybe they can't believe it or they're just not accepting that something's over. Maybe it's not over and you guys are just friendly with each other. Um, you just, you know, very casual. That there, there's there might be some flirting. Okay, so this person's like really insecure. There might be some flirting. This person, um, if you guys are still like, I don't know, like it's so it's so complex because either one you you still talk to this person and there's flirting going back and forth, so they think that you're still interested, or number two. Um, they flirt with you and you respond to it. So they still think there's something there. Or number three, um, they, oh, wait, it just left. Hold on. What were they saying? Yeah, no, there was no three. There was just the number one and the number two. Either you're responding in a flirting way and it's friendly and they think there's something there or you're not and they're they're um or you're initiating it's either you're initiating or you're receiving they're under the impression um and it's making them feel really trapped like they're stuck so they're stuck on you 
they're stuck on the communication and, and they're kind of hoping that something's not over and they want to talk to you but they they suspect that you might have there might be somebody else in the way or an obstacle blocking the ability but why but like why why do they oh okay so this person's like yeah they're really into you they really have a heart for you virgo <laughs> you stole their heart this person virgo <laughs> virgo <laughs> this like i they feel like you've stolen their heart like you your sweetness or something about you i don't know what it is they're viewing the whole entire situation i feel like differently than you i i just i get a sense i mean maybe you and this person because why would they be spying to see if there's somebody else did you guys end did something end and you're just being friendly you know, it's a, it's like they still believe. So how do you feel about this, Virgo? Okay. Virgo's got the tower. So it's like, no, that's kind of dead in the water. Uh, that's destroyed. That thing is over. Temperance. Virgo, you're just like, it. Yeah, I'm fine. It, it ended and, and I'm balanced and I'm cool and I'm patient and like it's whatever. Virgo, you're just you're just busy twirling your cups like you are just fine with it. But you're not it, at least it looks to me. I don't know exactly how you specifically feel like deep down because this might not be for everybody. But there's a Virgo here who's just like, nah, it ended. And, you know, I'm, I'm balanced. I'm neutral. If we talk, we talk. If we don't, we don't. I feel like that's kind of your energy. There could be somebody on the cusp of Scorpio and Sagittarius that you're dealing with yeah look you're just balanced you're like you know sometimes you're the dog sometimes you're the fire hydrant sometimes you're the bug sometimes you're the windshield you know virgo you have like a really good attitude towards it you know sometimes you're up sometimes you're down sometimes you feel like a nut sometimes you don't like i don't know what's going on with you but you are you're you're balanced it's you know like why did you and this person but like they are still stuck on you this person is still stuck on you. Why did something end here? Huh, lack of communication, blocking, silence. Someone couldn't decide, no compromise. Someone wanted love, something to go forward. Some Somebody blocked another person or just couldn't make a decision, was trying to make a decision. Yeah, the sun to have success. I don't get it. Like, these are two beautiful cards, and I had a cups in the sun. Yeah, it looks like there's, like, a decision needed to be made. Page of Pentacles. Huh, looks like somebody might have decided to just move on. It was like, okay, love, or we're not going to have love. And, you know, uh, something ended here, but it looks like it ended well, in some regards like i love you i think you're fantastic you're great but i think that you know uh i have better i have ideas and things that i want to do and what i see for my future with someone and this isn't going anywhere and somebody left to some degree but no virgo this person is like 100 percent. they think you're either going to re reconcile with them or come back they're watching they're waiting they want to talk to you what do they want to say to virgo three of pentacles i want to try to work on something king of swords i want to bring clarity king of wands <laughs> oh my gosh are you with somebody else king of wands i mean it's like are you are you making something work with another person i want to move something forward is there still a chance that's what they want to talk to you about that's what they want to say virgo good luck with this all right now you've got liar 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 pants on fire be careful of someone sneaky all right virgo <laughs> what in the heck is this liar liar pants on fire okay there's a leo and you have page of pentacles you have the lovers and you have the six of cups okay hmm all right, you've got Gemini, you have Leo, you have someone here who, um, 
oh, they're being exposed. They're coming and telling the truth. They're being caught. Somebody's being caught. Somebody, Virgo, I feel like you're going back to this person and saying, wait, what? What did you say? Um, you're exposing some kind of uh, sneaky person. Like you're exposing them either to themselves or to another person. Like there is going to be some communication in regards to someone who is lying. But I also just picked up that someone doesn't believe that you love them. And they're going to ask you because they think you're lying. They don't think it's real. There's someone who doesn't think it's real that you really like you love them. They think you're being sneaky or you're playing games. Yeah, you've got somebody here who's like super stressed about this. They have a lot of anxiety. <laughs> Why don't they believe you? They don't believe you really love them. Okay, that's interesting. Look, there's the seven of swords. They're going to ask you. They're going to reach out to you. They're stressing. Did you even love me? That's what I'm hearing. Did you even care? Did you even really? Were you sincere? Oh my gosh. This is this is something. Why would someone not trust the, that you really? I'm sure if Virgo told someone, maybe you didn't. Maybe you didn't say it. Or maybe you didn't let them know. Okay. There's a chariot. We have cancer here. They don't think you... Um, Okay, I'm just hearing you You said you love me because you were just trying to get the car. I heard that. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's what I hear. Or uh, th there's this, you were just gone very quick. You were just gone very quick. Said so they doubt that you, somebody doubts that you really love them. I am the queen of dropping things. I have the dropsies right now. So either you're gone really quick or you just left. And they don't know what to think. This person is questioning this. If you really cared. Because either you didn't give you didn't fight for it. I know some of some of you Virgos, I hear you. I hear you. I've been fighting for years and they wouldn't budge. You must have walked out. And now they're questioning it. Did Virgo even love? Virgo left. Virgo's not fighting for me anymore. Did they even love me? It's like, hello. If they were there fighting for you the whole entire time, why were you so fucking blind? You know? So now you question it when Virgo's gone? Like, hello? Are you just stupid? <laughs> okay. All right. So, yeah. Now they're questioning it. They're holding fast and tight. They're trying to sort it out. They're they're stressed in their burden, and they might ask you. Sure, they're gonna ask you. Why did you go? Why did you change things? Why did you leave? Why did you move out? Why did you relocate? Let me see you. Or go. Oh, because you wanted something more committed and something more structured. It needed to have some kind of foundation or some type of like, I don't know, something might have felt too uncertain. Or, you know what I mean? Or it felt like there was like just somebody might have just been rebelling against you or not wanting to be in alignment with you and you needed that. This person. So uh, it seems to me like it wasn't really even about if you love them. It seemed to me like it was more about if we are, can, if we can make something work, if, it, if it's compatible. I don't think you didn't love this person, whoever your person is. There's Taurus there. I don't feel like that's the issue. There was some something, uh, there was maybe a lack of compatibility or some other problems. Control, spying. You did have spy prior to this. Spying, um, Ten of Cups. Um, you wanted... It looks like you just wanted that happily ever after, that long-term, uh, uh, exclusive, kind of committed type of relationship. Looks like maybe you didn't get that. That's why perhaps you might have left. Yeah, didn't have anything to do with lack of loving someone. Love's not enough. I don't, you know, I say all the time, yeah, love is great. Love is important. Love has to be there, you know. But it also has to be when you love each other, you respect enough, you respect each other enough to sit down and say, hey, how can we do this to make this work? How can we make something better? How can we manage this relationship? One other person should not say, 
and we'll figure it out later or blow it off or that kind of thing needs you know people want to feel heard on either side it's not just a female thing it's a it's a male thing as well so masculine thing you know so looks like there was a lack of structure of some sort um and i feel like you asked a lot of questions perhaps of this person and you did all that you had those conversations and your person might have been more just like kind of flirty and just keeping it lighthearted. Yeah, they were non-committal. They really weren't committing, it looks like. They were committed to the fun, committed to flirting. They were committed to all that. And there's nothing wrong with flirting and fun. But, you know, there has to be every house before it's built has to have a structure and a foundation. That's when, and then you, you, you frame out the relationship. And then when you fill the house in with all the furniture and all the other stuff, those are all the benefits and the goodies that come with it, you know? So there was no even found, firm foundation to this. It was just kind of like floating down the river. And wherever the river takes us, it was just a lack of direction, it feels like. Queen of Cups is here. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Okay. looks like that's the first court card there's the emperor yeah for the virgo feminines it looks like you were looking for someone who was going to be very stand up ish stand up ish <laughs> who was just going to be above board and take the lead and be able to help you define something um and if you're a masculine it looks like um the person you were with just wasn't opening up or sharing how they felt you know um or ex communicating with you at all when you were trying to be um, it looks like taking the lead in something like you were, you know, the emperor and the queen of cups do not go together. It's a mismatch. It's, it's an absolute mismatch. Neither is happy with the other generally, um, because they just don't go well together. The emperor needs a uh, empress and the empress needs an emperor. You know, someone wasn't up to par. In other words, it's not that someone wasn't good enough. I don't feel like it's that. It was just like a mismatch, miscommunication, um, a lack of being able to meet each other's needs. The emperor, like I said, doesn't generally go with an empress and vice versa. The emperor and the empress meet each other's needs because they're, they, they're in the same realm. They understand each other. They, they sit on the same throne, you know? Um, yeah, there was a lack of understanding. And now someone, someone's questioning if you even love them. Okay. They're bringing harsh judgment down in lieu of that. Okay. And judging themselves even harder. Okay. But something's going to come out. Something's going to absolutely come out. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to tell you that. Well, it's going to come out into the open. Whether it's directly to you or indirectly, there's an energy of... um someone this person feels like you betrayed them because you left well it, the way i see it is if you have to be true to yourself and in turn other people feel betrayed because you're being true to yourself that's not a you problem virgo that's a they problem you should always be true to yourself always so if someone feels betrayed because you decided to take care of you or you decided that it's time for you to get your needs met and someone isn't able to meet those needs and they feel betrayed by that well, that's a little narcissistic, if you ask me. You know, you have to take care of your needs. You, you know, you're out here living for you. So, bada bing, bada boom. Okay, so yeah, the shift, the shift. So you have definitely shifted, changed things for the better for yourself. That's what it looks like. Okay, and what's this person going to do besides accusing you all right we've got temperance sagittarius energy we have aquarius we have scorpio energy hmm. oh you know what virgo i was just asking what this person gonna do it seems to me like it doesn't freaking matter um, they are intent on staying in their grief and telling everyone that you betrayed them or just feeling like a victim. Okay. 
um, them looking at the temperance here where it's kind of like temperance is a place that everybody needs to be to get in a neutral position and to be stable and to be calm and, and happy this person looks at that like that's some kind of alien form like I don't feel like this person is going to be able to see the light and just say Virgo didn't betray me I just wasn't really able to meet Virgo's needs and Virgo wasn't able to meet mine okay so yeah but but they're not going to do that and they're just going to sit there and say I've lost Virgo Virgo lied to me play the victim this person Virgo did this or Virgo didn't do that and left me out in the cold and now I'm dying and that's a shame that's kind of a shame that feels like it's a shame to me but eventually I guess they'll get over it. It looks like they'll get over it for sure. And it's the outcome of this three, oh, three of pentacles, a two of cups. Hmm. So I think at some point, Virgo, let me just once this person gets over themselves and just is like, all right, I'm, I'm done with my crying and my grieving. I'm going to cut myself off and block myself. Once they get past that, I do feel like there will be an opportunity here to try to rebuild something and maybe in a different kind of a relationship like friendship and just, you know, um, just kind of be on neutral ground. You know what I mean? I feel like somebody, I don't, I don't know, Virgo, I don't get it. It's like, I don't feel like you're really hurt. I don't know, maybe you are. But whoever is listening here, I don't feel like the person, the Virgo that's listening here is all that hurt. Um, maybe healed quicker than the other person. But I feel like, like the outcome, there will be an opportunity for you and this person to kind of be on a better page going forward and um, just keep it real civil at least at the at the least there may be an opportunity to rebuild and try to work together and reunite and try to start from scratch all over again um, if you want it of course I always say if you want it. all right let's see whose initials we have someone's name starts with the letter M as in mark Marvin, we have a V as in Vance, v Victor, we have a T, okay, somebody's birthday is August 23rd, and we have August 30th, uh, September 14th, someone is 57, someone is 47, okay, we have the letter A. I don't need two A's. Could be a double initial A. We have a G. We have a letter O. That looks like a go. Long, long time ago when I was not that. Okay, September 1st. August 31st. Someone is 34 here. Letter X, letter H. Somebody's watching HBO right now. The letter B, we have a Y, okay, W8, we have two H's. Um, someone calls themselves a boy toy. <laughs> boy toy, toy boy, I don't know what the hell the heck that is. Um, wrapping a Christmas box right now. Someone thinks you're a foxy, Virgo. Who says that? Foxy lady. Uh, someone lives in Hyde Park. I just heard Hyde Park. Mm, okay. Someone lives in Hollywood Hills. HH, they just said. All right, let's see. We've got April. Someone's birthday's in April, April 12th, 1986. All right, let's see what signs are going to show up here. Mostly for you. Well, this reading is about Taurus, Aries, double Taurus, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Pisces, I'm sorry, Cap Cancer, and Scorpio, Gemini, Sag again. Okay, let's take a look at the Chinese sign and see what Chinese signs. 
Virgo or their person. Chinese signs for Virgo or their person. All right, starting with the year of the dragon, double dragon. Never had that happen before. Year of the rat, year of the snake, monkey, double monkey, rooster, the rat again, ox, goat, snake again, and a tiger. Okay, so that could be you, could be your person. Take it as it resonates. Oh, gosh, I get the dropsies. It's so bad, you guys. I don't know what's going on. Does anybody, like, go through these periods of just dropping things? All right, let's see what your charms are. Let me dig from the bottom. All right. Oh, we have an elephant. Somebody might be from India. Okay, elephant is significant to someone. Did I just see? I did, and I want to show it to you if I can get it again. I probably won't be able to get it. I just saw a candy cane. <laughs> and now I want one. Okay, so we have, all right, you guys, watermelon. So somebody might be drinking a watermelon flavored drink, or uh, I don't know if there's like an alcoholic drink that has watermelon or someone um is eating watermelon maybe you are i guess watermelon you could still eat still in season okay could be like a lip gloss of some sort watermelon lip gloss how cute and you have looks like um what the hell that is is that a goat you guys is that a goat or is that a reindeer with big antlers let me put it on the thing. It's, it kind of looks like a goat because it's got the little beard. I just heard someone's name is William. Um, this looks like a goat. Do goats have antlers though? I have no idea. Somebody tell me. I know. It does look like maybe it's a... What the hell is that thing? <laughs> it kind of does look like maybe it has um, those little things sticking out of a... It, it must be a reindeer. I don't know. It's significant, though, for someone. A goat or a reindeer? Some kind of significance. Maybe it's the year of the goat. Reindeer does represent, maybe you live somewhere where there's reindeer. Um, but it is a, a holiday season, so maybe somebody's name is Rudy. <laughs> and you also have a snake. Ooh. Okay, somebody's definitely, that's double confirmation. Someone is year of the snake, or someone actually has a snake slithering sneaky snake i don't know what do you guys do you have a snake if you have a snake what do you feed your snake please leave a comment below what kind of food do snakes do they eat mice oh i was showing it to you backwards there might be a tattoo somebody's getting or finishing up a, a snake tattoo maybe can you see it finishing up the scales on it yeah see like the front of it I don't know if you can see that all too well yeah probably can't let me say hold on there you go kind of can see it I don't have really good zoom Oh, with the snake. Anyway, there's a snake. So it could be the year of the snake, like I said, or you have some kind of connection to a snake. All right, very interesting reading. We'll leave that there. Hope you enjoy that. Don't forget if you want to book a reading, everything is, you know, right after this reading's over. You'll hear all the information. There's a link in the description box below. Have a fantastic night, you guys, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye. Hey, you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, Please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.